Yeah. Yeah. So again, not, uh, not, not a lot to recap really. I mean, it felt like, it felt like a lot happened, but really, I mean, you said farewell to Hickaby and, um, you jerk left way. us at our time of need. <laughs> you made your way to Omu East and, uh, you were assailed by giant scorpions, as I recall. Um, they packed a pretty we were, punch. First, we uh, we uh, we got those that guy and we killed him, and then we got giant scorpion and killed them. Yes, ate them. Yeah, right. Lobster meat. Yeah, and then we came down here, tried to get some sleep, and then snake people. All weird snake people with snake hands and snake faces and snake balls. <laughs> it was awful. kept charming me, even though I was <laughs> turned into a giant monkey or a giant ape. And, gorilla. Uh, there you go. Gorilla. Yeah, I, uh, I remember the snake hands, the head. I don't remember the snake balls, but if you say so. <laughs> well, they, they had I mean, snake lower that. half. It's probably snake, snake, snake balls. Yeah, they probably. have snake balls. Probably so. If in the waist down they're snake, they have snake balls. Yeah. Okay. I can't argue with that logic. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you uh, you said it. Yeah, you were attacked by uh, Yonti, and uh, you finally made your way, uh, or finally got a good night's sleep. And really, that's you haven't you barely dipped your toe into Omu. You made it down these giant stairs, and you know, as before, there were um, still gargoyles. You know, every hundred or feet or so around the edge, but it kind of they only sort of start up towards the top here and towards the top top there. And where you guys are currently, right here, uh, they aren't up there. And I think how we left off as you, 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 <laughs> uh, you, you were able to get a full night's rest. Everybody uh, was back up to full health. And uh, you saw off in the distance uh, sort of a walled compound and uh, with uh, several different plumes of uh, look like smoke rising above the jungle. And... Um, Again, just to just to clarify, the map is sort of it may be a little bit misleading when it comes to different things because it's it's really it's just everything is vine covered. Even the even the walkways and the boulevards they're vine covered, so travel is a little difficult. Um, but you can you can you can see from your vantage point basically all of Omu. So what do you want to do? You wake up in the morning fully refreshed. I guess we're heading over to the city. Well, before we do that, can I just, um, can I roll a, uh, uh, perception check? Uh, I just want to look around to see if there's any more snake people. Okay. I grab them by the waist with my trunk and hold them up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't help. It sort of that distracted him. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off of me. <laughs> well, you are so small. You can't see over the vines. I can't see anything. Would you just grab me and throw me above your head? Yeah. Um, so you don't see anything. You do see some pterodons way off in the distance. They don't. Uh, they don't seem to notice you. And you smell the sulfur and the the uh, of the lava just blowing off to the east. But you don't see any any creatures. Can we? Can we still see the smoke plumes? You can, and it looks like it's like a almost like a fire that's couple of fires that have been uh maybe just let let to burn out and they're just sort of smoldering now uh, but there's several different plumes of smoke rising from i guess it's sort of a walled compound up there i totally think we should just walk around like we're tourists i think that's an incredibly poor idea uh but i would say Ooh, look at that towards... <laughs> they don't have that in my country it's very, very beautiful. Perhaps we can ask Tabaxel to draw a picture for you to keep for later. Right. Um, also, I don't know if I said this, but I want to make a map of just Omu too. Sure. Yeah, I meant to say that on the last one, but I don't know if I did. Okay. Yeah, no, it's certainly, I think from up here too, it would be a good spot to sort of at least map it out cursed, cursed yeah. early. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So inside the walled compound, too, just as a reminder, you guys found some spray paint, uh, art spray paint, some graffiti. Yep. Um, I kind of redid the PC folder and just I made I saw like, that. That's super awesome. Yeah, I just made the Omu, so that way there's, yeah, maybe a little easier to navigate. Um, Who is Unk? Isn't that, isn't that uh, Hickaby's uncle? <laughs> okay. Um, 
so again, you know, they and and uh, they, they may be clues. So, so, <coughs> gentlemen, do you want to head towards the snake, the uh, the smoke plumes? Well, <laughs> according to the clues that are written on the wall, if they are clues, it says we should head to the shrines. Puzzle cubes are. We need to find the puzzle groups, and we also need to beware the frog monster. So, but we don't know where the shrines are. Well, I assume they'd be fancier buildings. I guess. I mean, we can head towards the snake. Or the, I keep saying snakes. That's how much it affects. Oh, me. I can only agree that if if this is where the the snake people are living, I mean, that's where they do their snake oh. things. Mm, snake thing. What are snake things exactly? I don't know. Use their snake balls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can head towards the smoke and hopefully not see any of that. So what do you say? Maybe we skirt the cliff on the on the west of the map and work our way to the wall and then find an entry there? I would say so. What does everybody else think? Oh, that sounds good to me. I think we should be or sneaky. Do, or do we want to uh, check out these buildings first and go building to building? Well, I would I would be against going building to building. I mean, we're not we're not clearing this place out to build, you know, apartments. Um, so I would say we. <laughs> this would be a great there. vacation place. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps um, we could we could build it around a giant mouse guard, but that's here nor there. Um, we should stay to the west, perhaps away from the buildings. We could sell timeshares. <laughs> I, that is what I I think it's either a do the stealthy route or b clear building as buildings as we go to make sure no one comes up behind us. Oh, I would say the stealthy route. However, you are not stealthy, so <laughs> no, I am loud like giant elephant. This is valid. Yes. What about Mister Leon? Mister Tabaxel agreed. What about Mister Snan? I say we just uh, clear building by building. The big guy's too loud. I mean, to be fair, I do stand as a distraction. No, not distraction. Bait. I am bait. You're a distraction as well. So I would say you're too. <laughs> so I, I say we at least clear these two buildings here, and then we can do that sneaky part. Okay. Okay. Uh, you make your way towards. Cool. Do you act stealthily, or tell me so, sort of the plan? Yeah, can we at least approach stealthily? Oh, sure. I'm gonna try to be stealthy. Right. <laughs> I think Tabaxo and I will be stealthy and successful. I don't know about everybody else. But Look at we... me. I'm stealthy, everybody. <laughs> so, so they've learned to like let me walk off to the side, like by Oof. fifty feet or so, <laughs> and like, and they stealth oh, just off, off the side of me and then when i attract things they kill them okay well, i just had a horrible <laughs> roll so that yeah. should make you feel good it's better than mine you've got twice what i got okay so i think what happens is this is that um hmm. it's uh, i have a song stuck in my head is that blue you see it's kind of steep there but not so steep that you can't sort of you know glissade down it so you 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 try to slide down it but you just get top heavy and you just roll over and, uh, clang, clang, <laughs> clang, clang. And it cracks clang. Nimbus up so bad that Nimbus, uh, I really like, you lose some of the dirt around Nimbus and, the, and it falls and he, he comes tumbling after you. Uh, Leon tucks into a shell, slides down perfectly. And, like a ninja uh, turtle. Yeah, almost like a ninja turtle. And I think Snarn and, uh, Trademark. and Tabaxel will follow suit right behind uh, Leon and make it down. Well, I road. stand up. Pat myself off. Well, that was unfortunate. For me, yes. For you, it was expected. <laughs> and you Man, I was all clean, that. too. And uh, even though you made a giant racket, you know, a few parrots flew off or whatever, but you don't, uh, you don't hear any alarm raised or any voices or anything like that. You want to take a peek in the building, anyone, or...? Yes, I do. Okay. 
full or is it Wait, a ruin? Should we have one of the stealthier people take a look in the building? No. Why? Because that way, if we find something, we would have be able to surprise it and catch it off guard. Rather, if you just walk in, it won't be a surprise. They'll be surprised when you show up when I'm there. To be fair, I would be surprised if a giant elephant man busted into my room. <laughs> True. Just saying. It's Kool-Aid time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then. And Nimbus just kind of bows out of the way. By all means, Mr. Blue, please. Time to knock. Kick yes. the door in. Okay. Oh, Roll There's my strength. Uh, uh, yeah. I want athletics. It, or no, do you just want like, strength? Uh, yeah, you don't need it. You're, you're huge... Uh, elephant like foot just oh i six yeah it doesn't matter it's it's yeah. like rusting on the hinges and it's just barely even blocking the way and uh hits the hits the floor and dust flies up little beams of light uh let me actually vecna i'm home <laughs> oh heavy rain okay oh so jesus christ forget the forget the forget the uh uh the light hey the guys this one plays at least Pearson. Yeah, water, uh, water, water pouring in from the holes above. It's okay as long as there's dry spots. Yeah. Is there anything inside? So make a roll a D one hundred, and I will tell you. Damn it! That's not the right button. <laughs> okay. Take that. It's actually good. There's uh, well, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're after. Uh, but well, it uh, depends on what it is. If I was, if I needed to roll low, bam. Yeah. If I needed to roll high, bend me over. <laughs> uh, so you find nothing inside. There are no. Uh, it it looks like it's been cleared out. You're so I had needed high then, or I guess. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, the roof fell on me. <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> I see the floor could collapse, but um, I just probably wandered. I'm just probably wandering through, not even really paying attention. Yeah, da, there's, da, da, da. yeah there's a broken chairs, and it looks like it's been abandoned a long time. There might have been people who had camped here as well as the first place that you guys had camped, but um, nothing really of interest or import or danger for that matter. I'm not really paying attention anyway. I'm kind of doing like the scene from uh, that Star Lord does in the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, dancing, Kick, kicking the rats. Yeah. I love that. Um, cool. Uh, you can check the other building if you want, or we can count that roll for both. And otherwise, we'll be in home move for I don't know, fifteen years. Okay. Um, Boom. So we'll see you. Roll it. Your, oh, is it know. is it good or bad? Let me try again. Okay. Let's just say that's for group of building because they're like, I mean, if if you, if you zoom out, eighty one. I've 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 gone almost to the full sides of the spectrum. Yeah. Let's let's zoom out. It's just for perspective sake and uh, look at all the different buildings. <laughs> so I'll say it's for groups of buildings that way. We're going to be thorough, Gary. That's how we thorough. want to do <laughs> Yes. So there's nothing. Door to door, door. Okay. So, so, the... so these are the buildings for the first roll. Okay. These are the buildings for the second roll. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we'll take a look in those buildings. And that does have a fancy looking dome building. So maybe there's a. It does something. indeed. And it looks like there might've been, you know, stained glass or some kind of glass uh, pieces uh, built into the tile. And inside you find. Death. Hmm. You find, uh, you poke around and. There is a, a skeleton, a uh, humanoid skeleton, and um, it looks like he has been attacked by some sorts of animal, some sort of animal. There are, it looks like the bones have been crunched in different places, and it, it just looks like he was attacked and mauled to death by an animal. And he has a satchel around his uh around his body and he's kind of resting on it. So you can see the strap across the front it also has claw marks and a couple of bite marks. Um, so within a medicine roll, how long ago did it, does it look like it happened? Yeah. He's, he's mostly skeleton. So I don't know. 10, 20 years, maybe. Well, so. years or 
months. You know, that's the only thing. I, with an 11, it's probably years or months is all I can determine. And he's mostly skeleton, so I'm saying. So I walk over and I nudge it with my mace. Okay. The head lolls over and breaks off and rolls on the ground. Okay. He the back salt's like for you. <laughs> okay. Um, let me check out that satchel. Okay. I move I move I move along looking at other yeah, things. You wanna check for traps or just go for it? Uh yeah, I'll, I'll take a quick look, see if it's fired. Alright. Boom! Uh, an investigation, I guess. Yeah. Check for traps. Nice crits yeah. it. Hmm. Yeah. No, he just uh he apparently just died here. And okay. he's kind of stuffed stuffed away in one of the back rooms. I think it's sort of a stall where they had stored things and Apparently had gone right. unnoticed oh. by. Well, Hit the back, so see if it has a skeleton key. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see what you did there. Yeah, so you pull the satchel free, and uh, there, yeah, there's, respectfully, there's a vial inside. I drink it. No. Um. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll hold it up to the light. Is it, check it, is it labeled? Uh, it is looks like a. It? It's a potion bottle. Now that you get it out. Okay. Is there anything in it? Yeah, it's full. It's got a stopper cool. on it. Neat. Taste it. Um, you want to take a little dab to taste it. Yeah, sure. If I can. Yeah, you can do that. Put your pinky in, and it's what killed them. <laughs> Are you seriously them. going to drink that? <laughs> no, no I'm just taking a little eat. taste. In he order, killed, he was killed by some wild animal. You've discerned. Um, so the poison. <laughs> actually, the uh, the potion is a potion of animal friendship. Oh, <laughs> how ironic. <laughs> I don't think it worked. Dude, the guy wasn't quick enough, I guess. Right. That's that's actually funny. That's they do stuff like that. Some of the writers, yeah. it's funny. I just came up with it. Um, oh, did you? Yeah. Some of the GMs do that too. <laughs> I, ro I rolled the random. Blue. Yeah, eighty-one was the treasure, and then I rolled a random random encounter loot treasure drop. So yeah, uh, animal friendship. Cool. All right, All so right. now we are at the wall. Yeah, so these are. Um, I'll look, uh, the walls are really tall. I think they're twenty feet tall, if I remember correctly. Uh, There's so no holes in them, other than the the other side there that we know. Uh, of. There don't appear to be. There's some cracks at the top, but uh, you could climb over, or you see, and I think you saw from above up there. There is an entrance. Uh, entrance way. Like do you guys want to scout it out first, or do we just want to walk around and go in and make a perception check? I guess uh, whoever gets whoever's the closest there. <clears throat> uh, I think anyone. Well, who has perception? Uh, perception here. I can plus eight. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> the oh, you beat me by one. I think the wind the wind maybe switches a little bit and the breeze kind of blows towards you. And you get the distinct smell of burning flesh. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Snarn has introduced you to that smell plenty of times. <laughs> so then I guess we're going to move up to the wall and then move around to the entrance. And then... Well, how tall is that wall? 20 feet. 20 feet. Oh, no. I mean, I can boost you up if you want. You probably could get to the top and look at, take a look if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like to. Just a quick peek. Sure. I'm gonna pick him up and then push him up. Push him up with my trunk. Okay. How tall? Which, I'm six something. <clears throat> I'm seven That's foot two. Cool. You could maybe so, reach up and grab the top and climb up. I'll give yeah, you. Yeah, if I have to climb whatever way, I'll do that. Yeah, make an acro. I have a, it's probably athletics actually, but do it with advantage since he's giving you a boost. Athletics. Mm-hmm. You're stepping on my snow. And then uh, Leon, make a. Nah. Yeah. It's uh, you. <laughs> I think it, you don't fail so much as that it's just. Uh, it's just. It's like, just a little out of reach. Yeah. Just a little bit out of reach. Leon, we make can't a quite get check. it. You hear some. You hear some rumbling, Leon, off to your right, but. You don't see anything. It just you're not sure if it's the breeze. Okay. Or the brush. So I reach in the bag of holding and I pull out the rope. Okay. 
if I can find our bag of holding, where'd it go? Go blue. Mm, we have a, a rope. rope, right rope. Here. We no, we have a rope of climbing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I hand it up to you, and I say, "This might help." Cool. I use the rope of climbing. However, the hell that work? I don't know how it works. It, how does it work? Yeah, I think it climbs up and attaches itself, and you climb up it. Hmm. But I'm looking it up now. Let me check the compendium. Rope of climbing. Oh, one in the rope. <laughs> yeah, it animates. It fastens itself. Yeah, it just it climbs up by itself and fastens itself. Up. So, I forgot we had this. It's cool. Watch <laughs> this knot, and then there are a bunch of knots <laughs> up here every foot. <laughs> cool. Yeah, make it easy to climb. That's the. Okay, so you climb up to the top, and um, Let's what peek you see. Over. Yeah. Okay. What you see inside are uh, the after is the aftermath of a huge battle. Um, hmm. There are bodies laying in different areas. There, uh, some spells have obviously been used. There are blast marks. <clears throat> there are frozen areas. There are it's scorched ground where it looks like lightning might have struck. Um, and wow. there are dead bodies. I'll relay all that, and I don't see any sign of. Uh, movement or you do not do you uh, want to take the rope moves. and you can climb down and we'll go around okay yeah sure we'll split the party and i'll be all alone that's cool because you know you don't have to <laughs> you can say it no Chicken. yeah you are an adult <laughs> yeah no i'll do it i'll, I'll hop down the wall okay okay and we'll, we'll uh you got the rope now just so you know, yep. you have you have the rope of climbing. So because you, you can cool. make it go down to the other side and climb down it. Right. That's awesome. And then we're gonna move around to the opening. Okay. So I'm gonna so put you on there. this map here. We'll just put everybody on a let me make sure I've got it messed this mixed up here. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's again it's it doesn't look exactly like the map, but uh Sure. They don't we have, believe you. <laughs> they don't have all of these on the map, so Okay, so it's kind of what you see here. So, read just box te boxed text. So, smoke drifts lazily from a walled compound. The gate lies in splinters and scorch marks to face the buildings. Near the center of the compound is a plaza, which, which is what you see here, littered with charred human corpses. One of the corpses is being torn apart by a pack of wild dogs. A glaive has been thrust into the remains of a burnt-out pyre. Charred snake skulls and blackened inhuman vertebra are lashed to the spear. On a wall nearby, a symbol has been daubed in ash. A snake curled in a spiral, gripping a circle in its jaws. That's interesting. Yeah, so when you walk in, the dogs are just like, they're like tearing apart... Um, these humanoid creatures and make a uh, perception check. Whoever, whoever wants, don't care. Go ahead to back. So you have a plus eight ocean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what you see are the, 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 the one figure that's being torn apart and a couple of the other figures oh, laying on the ground. Um, they're red robed. They're bald headed and they have blue tattoos. Uh, over their head and face. That is not the same tattoo we've seen in the past in the snake people, correct? No. That was a triangle. Is there a... Uh, do, can we make a roll to recognize what they are? Yeah, you can make a... Uh, Religion? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Or... Yeah. Religion will work. <laughs> <laughs> How about history? Yeah, I was thinking more history actually because it's it doesn't really have much to do with their religion. So Baxel's so smart. Yeah. <laughs> so you recognize them as uh, the Red Wizards of Thay. Ooh. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. So Ooh. Thay and wizards, and the dogs are just like ripping them apart, and uh, a couple of these dogs sort of like walk over here and like, and, you know, and they're like, just yeah, yeah, like, go away. Like, this is my this is my meat. Back off. Mm. 
Yeah, Enjoy. but they might, they might have stuff that we want. Yes, but the dog is eating meat. It's not going to eat the whatever. Well, I guess we could come back and collect good things. Maybe we should just wait. <laughs> wait for how long? Wait until the dogs have eaten their fill, I'm assuming. Do you think they'll not. come after us? No, they'll probably be full by then. I mean, unless we make them angry. I guess we can start searching the area versus... And then maybe try and grab this guy. Okay. I think all those guys are dead. Well, they are, oh, yeah, but we can are, still search dead. them and see if they have any oh. papers on them. Maybe an idea who did their tattoos. Apparently, tattooing in Schultz is a thing. Yeah. Well, the red, the red wizards are not from Schultz. So did they get tattooed someplace else? Yes. Yes, in Fay. Fay. Oh. Hmm. Just I do saying. not. I do not have speak with dead today. That would have probably been a good thing to have. Might have been. Uh, just about now, you hear. Uh, I think uh, maybe Hide. Nimbus does. He's poking around, talking to, and you hear from this direction. Maybe a few of you. Uh, who's there? Uh, help! Yeah, I need somebody help. <laughs> we should. Sure. Did, did anybody hear that? That's someone calling for help. I hear it. I start. I make a large circle, like kind of like that. Nur, nur, nur. <laughs> I was like, get off. I think we're good as long as we don't get too close. Get good off my dog. There's guardian meat. Yeah, good doggy. Um, and you see a, a dusty, bloody hand poking out of that pile of rubble, right to right there. Ew, a hand. A human hand? Yeah, and its finger twitches. Uh, ew. We're Wait. coming! I do a cure wounds on the finger. I think uh, that's just nerves. It happens when you step on a bug, too. He gets okay. eight points back. <laughs> okay. Well, that's and then we start better, clearing... Thank you, but uh, these bricks well, the... are crushing We start clearing me. the books. I was <laughs> stabilizing him before I started moving the bricks. <laughs> um, so you, you unbury uh, a man... A, uh, I don't know, maybe 50-something-year-old man and uh, lies. Is he, in, is he in the robes? No, he's not. Um, he's dressed like a, a regular Cholton. And um, he's bloody. And he's got, you know, it's like dust all over his face, but blood is caked to it. So it's kind of like dried up on his face. Um, and I've got actually a handout to show Token. You. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you both actually. So, so do you have any tattoos? This is what he looks like, and he'll introduce himself momentarily. But that's him. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. what's this? <laughs> Spencer the pleasantries. Let's move away from these dogs before they decide to get to extra meals. Uh, do you want to kill the dogs I, now? I never well, could decide on one that I thought I you said you were going to let them eat. Make I up your won. mind. But I'm sorry, sir. I apologize. I cut you off. Um, you do not have tattoos. How are you? My name is Nimbus Snow. This is uh, Mr. Blue and Mr. Tabaxel. And back there is Mr. Snan and Mr. Uh, Leon. How, uh, how can I help you? Why are you under rubble? <laughs> oh, water. Give us some water. Uh, well, and he chokes, <coughs> spits some of it out. <sighs> Don't backwash. <laughs> he hands it back to you. Uh, I am Orvex Okramis. Thank you for digging me out. I, I appreciate it very much. And he starts to kind of check himself out. I've been here for a couple of days now. Oh. Do you have any food? I reach into my... I, I reach into my, I was just about to say, I reach into my, into the bag of holding, grab out a couple, one of the iron rations and hand it to him. Yes. Oh, thank you. And he just like, just destroys it. Oh, God. I also have an extra, uh, I think we had extra water stuff inside the bag of holding. I'll give him a gift. And he's like, is that scorpion lobster I smell? Yes. You want some? I would love some. Let me pull out the scorpion claw, one of the cooked claws and. 
He cracks it open. He eats some of the shell even. He's so hungry. Oh. Thank you. And he looks at you, all of you. Who are you? First, let us talk about who you are and why you are here. Well, I told you, I'm Orvex of Gromis. Yes. Who yes. are the people that the dogs are eating? We've surmised that they're, they're wizards, but why are they here? Why are you here? And he kind of peers over and sees the dogs tearing apart. Oh, those are my former employees, I suppose. <clears throat> Your employees? Employers. Oh, shit, I hope you got paid up front. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. Oh, good. Well, Smart. This worked so out you bad. were their guide? Is that what you are? Uh, not a guide so much as... Uh, I'm a scribe by trade, a librarian, a linguist. More of a ah. translator for them. Oh, cool. Yes. I was a librarian in Port Nianzaru. Excellent. Yes. Well, we are here to discover the secrets of Omu and put the rest the death curse. I'm not sure uh, how to help you with that. I'm not sure what the death curse is, but I do appreciate you being here. I, uh, what did the well, what I did feel the like wizard... I would have died if you'd not come along? Well, there's still time for that. But <laughs> he looks at you like. Like that was a threat. Like this is no, no. He means this place is very dangerous. It I mean, is. It is. But I think what back. we'd like to know is why were they paying you, and what were you doing for them? No one really comes here unless they're searching. For well, they don't speak Old Omu, and it's as simple as that. I was translating for them. I know a oh, bit about and uh, Omu and some history, and can. Read and translate Old Omuan. Simple Ooh, as that. Nimbus claps. I love history. So I think we need you to tell us <laughs> everything you told them. Uh huh. Very well. I, I suppose I could tell you what I told them. I uh, look out for those fireballs. Yes, yes. Um, well, what, what do you want to know? I. Well, Not hold sure. on, hold on, it. hold on. <laughs> First of all, did any of them, uh, are there just the three of them that hired you, or were there more? Oh, there were many more. These are just the underlings. Oh, um, yes. so where the, are the, the rest of them? The powerful wizards, they started up towards the north, and they were going to work their way back and meet us in the middle. Oh, good, so we may have allies, I hope. Wait, so what attacked you? Snake people. Oh, Jesus, those guys. And right when uh, he Type says, one, type twos, or type threes. <laughs> he kind of, <laughs> he gives you that, like, shakes his head and, like, furs his brows and holds his hands up like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. And and when you hear, as soon as he says snake people, you hear another groan from a pile of rubble over here. If there's going to be more people, we're not going to have enough rations. Just saying it now. We got plenty of rations. <laughs> Hey, hey, I waved the Snarn and Leon. Can you guys check out that one? And uh, you see uh, Snarn and Leon, I think while you look over there, you see like a hand like push a couple of bricks off the top. And uh, you see a creature. Oh, boy. A humanoid creature. Don't judge. You don't know what it is. I know what it is. Pushes uh pushes some bricks off of him. Oh my god, look how sickly he is. Okay. So he's still kind of maybe stuck over there a little bit. Yeah, neither one looked well. And so for me mechanically speaking, Orvex has got three layers of exhaustion and one hit point, and he is just not doing well. Excellent. So he, he's not in the mood to not not in any shape to travel or uh, anything like that. He he needs rest in order to, if you want him to, to you know, tag along. Um, um, but would, uh, and would, would certainly not be, he's not a fighter. So I would like to find out from him um, what 
if he knows like where the shrines are um in omu what's north what's okay. you know to the east yes. kind of like be able to grid out what's what okay uh, we had recently entered omu with the the shrines are what they were after and uh i think it has to do something with the nine trickster gods do you know their story we may have heard it, but refresh. What of the young man under the rubble over there? Dogs. Leon, Dogs are just Snarn, go over there and help him. What? I'm here. I t Are you going to go help the guy while we're talking to this sure? guy? Oh, up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Snarn is smoking a joint, and he's just like, what's up? <laughs> Yeah. All, all right, right, all right. Put the bowl I down. start uh, helping uncover the, the rest of them. Okay. So you guys are questioning Orvex. We cut over to this scene over here. So Snarn and Leon. I'm like, Ford, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging this creature. And uh, enter, enter Bob. Bob? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, are you all right? Oh, uh, see my eyes. <laughs> oh, creatures, get away from, get away from me. <laughs> what kind of magic disguises are you wearing? I uh, put some uh, water on the cloth for him and uh, try and wipe his eyes if that's what it's. Okay. And okay. tell him it's okay. Yeah. He some blood not, uh, and, and dust and dirt, and it kind of just like smears off. But you you make like a a clean spot across his face. Oh, uh, where's my whip? Is there any left? Kill them! Um, they're, really, they're gonna blow us up. Uh, no, just there's just a bunch of dead wizards and a couple of dogs. But I think you're the safe. wizards. The wizards are all dead. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, good. Well, we needed some answers, but I uh, guess it's safer they're dead. Yeah, let me help you up. Uh, no. Who are you? Um, I'm Leon, and this uh, is my uh, pal, Snark. What uh, are what's you? What's your name? Oh, wait, some new turtle what's that on your back uh turtle no it's tortle and that's just my pretty cool mask master shredder <laughs> master cheddar gave it to me <laughs> not a turtle he looks around the back side of him he's like what is that <laughs> looks like a turtle to me. shell duh what what is this? What is this cabal doing here? Starting I'm with him. Want to come see our friends? Yeah, friends. Yeah, what's your name, by the way? He, he tries standing and lightheaded. He just kind of sits back down. I am Shishkabob. Paladin of Kitiana, the summer court. Shishkabob? Yes. I think I've ate one of those before. Okay. <laughs> I've been cast and I came across my people during this battle. <sighs> I had to help them because these wizards are up to something and I have to find out what's going on with this. It's plague spreading. Well, I think we're uh, doing that too. Would you like to uh, meet our friends and see if you can join? It's not good to be alone out here. Yes. I shall see if your friends are worthy. <laughs> I'm not sure about that either, but don't tell them I said that. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, take a walk over there. So... Uh, we'll try and walk and avoid, you know, take a wide path around there. <laughs> yeah, they kind he of. He reaches like, towards Snar and kind of uses his head as a cane. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this one like reaches up. You get near the the wizard, and he's like, drags it back. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and shish kebab seems almost like a rather youthful looking, but he moves like an old man, and his armor is fitted for somebody maybe 30, 40 pounds lighter. He has obviously expanded way too much beyond his armor's capacity, but okay. he squeezes in it and manages, manages to walk around. I'm going to bring you over here and then, yeah, tell them what they see. What do they, what do they see in uh, uh, Cisco Bob? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> He's um, kind of looks like a paladin with plate armor and a whip shield. Uh, the shield is more fey creatures, like a, um, He's a fey paladin, so he's going to have some feyish creatures and Titania. Or, I keep forgetting her name. Titania. Yeah, Titania. And, um, but um, probably unrecognizable to most people being a fey creature. Maybe, who is it? Tabaxel might recognize being a fey creature. But, and he's rather youthful looking, but oddly enough, he moves like an old man with the. Uh, yeah. Stuff every now and then, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, hey guys, look what uh snarred an iPhone. As soon as you say so that, it, Orvex turns around. Oh, oh my god, he he was with them and he stumbles over the rocks and falls over here prone. Do uh, I know help with them? Or no. Wait, who was with who? Hey, him He points to uh he points to Cisco Bob and says, uh he was he was with the snake people. He's one of them. No, that's impossible. He was. Nimbus I am a pure blood man. Uh, who? What? Were you with the snakes, sir? They are my people. I'm a pure blood. Oh shit! I <laughs> haven't been weapon. for many years, but I saw the battle and. My people needed help. So, to be clear, you are one of the snake people, and you are Yan T. I am a pure blood. Oh no! So, you you came to this battle to help them kill those people who are being eaten by the dogs. Well, I came investigating the plague i've been sent on a mission and seeing red wizards fighting i knew i must take so i partook and helped my people but i have not seen many of my people in many years what the god do you worship i am a oath of ancients paladin I follow my fey goddess, Titania. And Orvax goes, are you sure it's not that over there? And he points to the uh, symbol that was like smeared in ash. It was a snake curled in a spiral, gripping a circle in its jaws. And um, you, I think, Sam, recognize that instantly as Dendar the Night Serpent, uh, rec- you know, worshipped by yon Particularly apocalyptic evil Yonti. <laughs> no. Many years ago, I was a, shol- a soldier for my people. <laughs> but I was disgraced. And they turned their back on me. Because I did not believe the same things they believed. What do you believe? I believe life and death have a purpose. I myself favor life, rebirth. But this death among the forest is needing balance. It's not correct. So I've come to seek what this plague so is you, caused by. You By plague, do you mean curse? Yes. Did it? someone send you this way or did you just know to come here yes i have been given a mission by who if i can ask Mm, you may not have heard her i know you must not have met her she is the raven queen 
She is known through many lands by different names. I know of the Raven Queen. But the she people left me with this task. But the people you uh, fought against and f the people you fought for were not on the sides that you thought. Well, the Yanti here are either corrupted or evil. I'm not with either side, but I am here to fight and find out what these red wizards are here for. Well, I assume they're here to stop the plague as well. As I look over at Orvex. He says, I, 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 there, I have no love lost with the wizards. I was in it only for the money. We, no, no. I meant uh, questioningly as in they were here to stop the curse, correct? We're trying to find a way to stop the curse. Uh, uh, what were the uh, soulmonger? Soul have you heard the soul of soulmonger? Have you heard that word? Uh, I have. I have. The soulmonger for sure. That is what they were after. They were sent here by Valindra. Shadow Mantle. She is, uh, I, I suppose, their leader. Shish Kebab, have you heard of this soulmonger? Yes. I've heard whispers and signs, but I've yet to see anything solid. I was hoping somebody from this was going to give me answers when I stumbled upon this battle. I am a cleric of Torm. I have sworn to protect. If the soul monger becomes in our hands, we will either destroy it or hand it over to people that will destroy it. Are you of the same? What is this weapon you speak of? The soul monger. I haven't heard much about it or seen it. Well, um, well, uh, I am a monk of monk, and uh, I think the dogs may be uh, uh, finishing up their meals, so we should keep an eye out. I still think we should go search the bodies, see if they had anything good on them. Okay, then let's kill the dogs. <laughs> Orvax, are you okay staying here for a Yes, I'm not going anywhere. And he just looks like he's like about to pass out. He's like... <laughs> so we should... Shish kebab. Orvex was just a guide. And I'm going to... Uh, cure light a a translator. Yes, guide yes. translator, yes. Obviously. Look at the man's clothing. He's not here for fighting. Yes, and, no, and Mr. Orvax, I know... I know you are going to stay here because I've yet to see someone as as tired as you, except when I broke someone's leg and left them in a similar position that you are. But I know you're not going to leave. I walk over, say a prayer to uh, Thorm and <laughs> tap him on the shoulder. You get back 14. Why is this little goblin threatening me? I've not done anything. I I was giving don't, you a comparison. Don't <laughs> worry. The goblin has a little bit of issues. It is okay. He is a good guy. He, I feel as this though you pulled me from the bricks so and, and now you're threatening me. Orvex, do you think I would have healed you if we were going to we're gonna kill you right off? That's a yeah. waste of time. Right. I, I don't know. My, well, I mean, I've, my former all we have to, were We just evil. needed people that we could run faster then. <laughs> Very well. I, I, I'm going nowhere. Look at me. I, I walk over to him and I, I put my hand on his shoulder and I hold him hold on my sh holy symbol of Torm and I say, I swear I will do my best to keep you alive and get you out of this, my friend. Please, stay calm. And if you can, give us help to finish our quest. <sighs> Was this something you can do? That's the same, the Cisco Bob, right? No, this is the Orvex. Oh, okay. I'm trying to calm him the fuck down. Okay. All right, you do. Um, I, yes, yes. I, uh, I had... Just relax. Ignore the small, ornery one. <laughs> I'm ornery. I love it. Very, very well. He keeps... He points two fingers at his eyes and then points those same two fingers back at me. I, I don't <laughs> well, know what that means, but it, we, it feels we, like it a means threat. I like you. We're very similar. That's what it means. He's a monk. They're weird. <laughs> and walk, I, so I walk over to Shishkabab. 
do you also wish this? Yes. If, if you may spare a little. I am not feeling well to carry myself very far. Well, with, what's three levels of exhaustion do? I, I don't think they have anything that can remove exhaustion. Yeah, I got a cheat sheet right here. It's, um, so d disadvantage on ability checks, speed is halved, disadvantage on attacks and saving throws. He's basically, he, he pretty much needs a, a rest, a full rest. Well, I gave him 14 hit points. Okay. So I reached down and that's what I touched you on the, on the shish kebab. I touched you on the shoulder to help you feel a little better. Yeah. And more and more, I'm trying to put a drop in a bucket and see how bad it really is. Yeah. Then I think we're going to go kill the dogs, find out what the, 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 the wizards have on them, if anything, and then maybe do a, a big spell to heal what's, what everybody got, if everybody, anybody got hurt. Yeah. So I think you, you heal him, but he's still, you know, he's not in any shape to move at this point. Uh, or yeah. Just, I'm travel. trying to close up wounds and stabilize. And yeah. Yeah. He begins to feel okay. better. I think for I think for like flavor's sake he's 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 you know, he's 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 really fully healed but uh, you know for flavor's sake he's just exhausted and just beat up a little bit. Well, I assume he had a little bit of damage because he was underneath a rock pile. Yeah. Okay, so kill the dogs and find out what the wizards had on them, and maybe they can give us more information to what they were doing here. No. Specif specifically, what is wrong with you? Spend enough killing. Okay. Uh, Shishkabob gets up and walks a little close to the dogs and uh, holds onto one tree in his other hand. <laughs> Grabs yeah. his whip and just kind of pops it as, you know, pop, 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 like gunfire. Just okay. scare the dogs away. Yeah, make an intimidation check. Do you nay-nay too? <laughs> <laughs> it whips. Oh, yes. Shish kebab whips. Yeah, I think I think one of it just like one of the, the the tiniest little bit of it just slaps it on its ass and it just takes off. And I think that was maybe the alpha male, and they all just flee. And they, they all like they flee, but they don't like go, you know, completely off the map. They just kind of sit back and look. But every time you get close to them, they back up a little more. But they're just sort of you know like hanging out, waiting for you to leave now more than anything. Mm -hmm. So I will go through the the wizard stuff. Okay. Looking they, for papers. Yeah, they are unfortunately all picked over. Uh, what you do notice are there are um, empty scroll tubes, like in their vestments. Okay. And uh, they all have like, um, <laughs> it's like a holster, uh, but it's, uh, you, you notice that a leather, it's a leather holster. Uh, with a with a snap over it that a book would fit in. Neat. One of them, yeah, one of them has a his ring finger has been severed. It looks like by a sharp implement. Probably had the ring. Uh, and there's no there's no books nearby. No, it looks like it, it, they're they're but they're all open, and the holsters that looks like they would they look like they would hold books uh, are empty. <laughs> And they're all similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no yeah. papers or anything other than that, though. No, no. identification. Mm -mm. Okay. And Orvix, Orvix told you told you that these were sort of, <clears throat> um, the I guess, the underlings. Yeah. The alkalites or whatever of the yeah, order. The mages. <laughs> all right. No clues there. I guess we'll have to find the Yanti that killed them and ask them questions. Yes. So, how about we rest a moment? I, uh, I, I can tell you the story that you are after. Uh, yes. If you promise not to kill me or make threatening gestures at me again. <laughs> Nimbus just kind of walks behind Mr. Blue. <laughs> Mr. Blue, you, you handle, you handle this. <laughs> yes. It's that smile, Nimbus. It's very unnerving sometimes. What do you mean? I was always told to smile at people, wish them goodwill, and explain to them how easy it is to break bones depending on the position you bend their arm. <laughs> yep. just, Orvex is just like aghast. Like, oh, I, that doesn't sound like a yes, goblin. 
Mm. Orvex. Tell us the story. Very well. Have a, have a seat. Gather around. Except, what time of day is you, this? you can stay where you are there, Goblin. Why don't we uh why don't we take a short rest and eat like eat food? Yeah. Some, okay. It's eat we'll breaks. say it's say it's lunchtime? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And let me actually let's uh, take a quick bathroom break too and I'll I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. I would love to get some water anyway, so <laughs> I'm back. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Holy you go, shit. Sam. <clears throat> oh. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, but that just becomes a six. So. Oh, or the lowest you can roll is six. <laughs> I'm at one hit point. I don't know how many my total is. but. So what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Your seventh level, right, with the rest of us? Yep. So one you level. Will... The uh, first hit die is full, so you can. I, I don't know what blue. I don't what blue wants to do, and whether mm -hmm. you want to save some of those hit dice mm -hmm. as far as healing goes. I thought you said he was fully healed. Orvex was fully healed. Oh yeah, no, I was healing. The second heal was for uh, was shish kebab fourteen. Oh, and then you said he was fully healed. I I would heal shish kebab. I didn't. I was trying to. I never saw his bar move. I said I gave fourteen hit points to shish kebab, and nobody said anything. Oh, I think we all yeah. thought you were talking about Orvex. Yeah. No, and then I said uh, shish kebab again the second time. So, so you did get fourteen for me. Right. So if you're rolling hit dice to heal, don't worry, I'll heal you. Okay. Maybe you'll probably still need to roll a couple of those. Probably okay. the first three or four. You may need you know, those twelves. I need my spell slots, so I can't yeah. give them all of them, unfortunately. Right, if you were right. down to zero, all right. but you also have like lay on hands and stuff too, don't you? Mm -hmm. No, it's spent. He just got done with the big fight, so oh, okay. His spell slots Man. are pretty much gone and stuff. We Gotta say, go. Sam, with that with that access accent you're busting. I would imagine there's some drool with that li lisp here. <laughs> Are you putting something in your mouth to do that? No, I just have my tongue curled back on my back molars. And let's do this, Sam. And shit the think... sloth. And, and uh, shit the sloth action. Mm -hmm. for, for your hit points, let's just do, I think that's more flavor than anything. So I think maybe save your hit dice and uh, blue save your um, uh, spell slots. And then you were just more buried, and maybe you had some damage, but you weren't down to to where you were. Okay. You just couldn't say it was bludgeoning. It was bludgeoning damage, and it knocked you unconscious. Yeah, and, and you were more restrained, and or, and you, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. I think it's unfair to start you off at one hit point. Is what I mean. Okay. What about hit points? Roll them or uh, whatever you want to do. You can roll them or. Dude. Well, you just use those hit dice you just did for your hit dice, for your rolls. Yeah, that was a really good dice. Yeah, uh, take them. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is the last one would be a we would change to a six so it would be a an eight. Exactly. So the lowest you can roll is an eight technically. So. The warlock one. Yeah. Cool. 
Two, ten. Oh, oh, you're not. Wait a minute. Why did you roll D tens? The five no, that last D ten should have been since it's six. It should have been the warlock one. Oh, the one level warlock. Okay. Mm. So that would be a five. So you'd be seven. All right. So five well, we're working that out. So Orvex, uh, he sits down and you break bread and he's, you know, hungrily eating your rations. And, um, in the, in the, the lobster. Yes. And the lobster, uh, the desert lobster. And, um, do you have any butter? Oh, of but, course not. Where are we? No, no. Looks around. Oh, not here. Of course. Wouldn't keep in this heat. So, the the story that I'm about to tell was of particular interest to the Thane wizards. It's about the nine gods, and it must have something to do with the nine shrines. They were seeking puzzle cubes. Yes, we have seen something, some signs to that. Ah, they seem to think that they were in the shrines. In fact. There's one west of here, a shrine we had uh, yet to explore when we were attacked. Is that where the other wizards went? No, they went north, right? They began up north. They teleported there and were working their way back down. So the legend of the nine gods goes as this. Stories of Omo's nine trickster gods died with the Omoans who worshipped them. Long ago, the god Ubtau hardened his heart and vowed to weep for the people of Omu no longer. The rains stopped, the jungle withered and died, and death swept through Omu. One morning, a wise Zorbo emerged from her hollow tree. Do you know what a Zorbo is? No. Uh, and uh, who has Volos? Nimbus. Well, it's in the bag holding. I pulled it out for Nimbus and I okay. handed it to Nimbus. Yes. So you recognize that name, Zorbo, as one of the creatures you flip through. And uh, given that, what I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the things while we're doing this. <laughs> did you see the direction the enemy came from when they attacked you so let's wrap up. Uh, let, me, let me do the story and then I'll, sure. I'll I'll tell you so he says uh, and, and, you know actually we'll do this after and that way we just whip the story out so uh, he says one morning a wise Zorbo emerged from her hollow tree and spoke to the dying Omoans to convince Uptel of their worth she decided to cook him a stew made from all of their good qualities Catching such virtues wouldn't be easy, so she asked a wily Almirage to help her. The Almirage snuck recklessness in the pots, which she saw as a virtue, and Ubta spit out the stew when he tasted it. From that day on, Obalaka the Zorbo and Ijin the Almirage became terrible enemies. At noon, a brave Kamadan hopped down from her rock, she saw the evil in the Omuans' hearts and decided to lance it like a troublesome boil. The Commandant fashioned a holy spear, but she left it by the riverbank, and a crafty grung stole it. They're little frog people, you see. In her rage, Shagambi the Commandant forgot all about the Omuans and chased Nang Nang the grung forever across the sky. When evening came, a wily Eblis stepped from his reed hut. He didn't like the Omoans, but without them, he'd have no one to play his tricks on. The Eblis sent a marsh frog to reason with Ubtown, but the frog was angry and decided to wrestle with the god instead. This amused Ubtown, so he gave the frog tentacles to make it stronger. When Kubazan, the frog Hemeth, Returned to Papazadal the Iblis, he chased Papazadal into the swamp with his new tentacles. That night, a Sioux monster broke into Ubtau's palace and stole a pail of water for the Omuans. 
When the god came running to find it, the Sioux monster hid the pail in a Jakuli's burrow. Ubtel asked the jungle animals where his water was hidden, and Moa the Jakuli was too honest to lie. When Wongo the Sioux monster found out how Moa had betrayed him, he vowed to catch the Jakuli and eat him up. All the while, Unk, the flail snail, lived deep under the earth. The noise of the other animals fighting made her slither up to the surface, and when day dawned over her shell, the light blinded Ubtau and made his eyes water. Life returned to Omu, and the people built shrines to honor the animals who saved them. Yes. This is a very nice story. I thought so. Let me um, actually put that in that thing, too. So here it is. So I have a question for you. Yes. Where have you already explored in this area? We or just... did this happen right when you were here? Unfortunately, this is as far as we've gotten. We came in the entrance by the stairs to the south and east, made our way to the walled compound. Checked so you had already as explored that the ruins that are there. Yes, we and we you, peeked in. The, we we saw nothing of interest. It wasn't you saw the graffiti on the wall. Oh yes. Okay. So then, do you know which direction the people attacked you from? They came in through the gates behind us. I'm not sure where they came from. Hmm. Okay. Can anyone else, can you guys see the Legend of the Nine Gods? I can't see any writing. It's blank. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Weird. So, you had said that yeah, the man. others had gone north. Would you be able to help us find them? I don't know much mm -hmm. about Omu except for what I've seen. Um, let me need to make a quick handout, real quick. I want to ask him questions about some of the graffiti too. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, let me just. Drop this into a handout that everyone can see. Boom. How about now? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, yep. All right, cool. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I forgot what you'd asked him. Um, he said something about a frog hemoth, and I see Beware the Frog Monster. Mm, yes, the frog hemoth must be the frog monster. I've seen grungs, but I, I only fear their poison. The frog hemoth is, is an enormous beast. Is uh, frog hemoth in your book, Nimbus? It is. All the creatures are in the book, so. Okay, we're gonna have to look that up and learn about it. Uh, okay. Do you know who the king of feathers is? Here's a picture of the frog human. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's. Uh... Oh, I see you have Volo's guide. How clever. Yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> it, it's very large. You know, I'm on retainer for Volo himself. He's asked me to uh, write down a thing or two about what I find. Says he'll pay me handsomely Ooh. when I see him again. And Nimbus are... immediately goes over to him. Oh, As no! Him. I thought you yes, weren't going no. to hurt me. <laughs> I am not. I am a protege of, of, of Volo, and he has asked me to write down things from my travels as I, well. You don't say. I do say. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I figure... Never mind. That's very interesting. I find it to be. Yes. Perhaps you won't kill me after all, then. Yes? I would say there's a high probability I will not. Uh, 
<laughs> I, I suppose that will do. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so he kind of goes through through. If you guys want uh, info on some of the others, you can, you can you can ask. Uh, but if if you actually uh, did Blue ask him to read up on the frog myth? I did not. Someone else did. Somebody did. I did. I want I, oh, yeah. I want to know about it before we fight it. Yeah, so you 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 learn from them that uh, they are especially a- adverse to lightning. Ah, this good. is a good thing to know. I said adverse, but I meant okay. others. <clears throat> and uh, do you know who the King of Feathers is? At least did I ask that right? I don't know. I did yeah, see that feathers. inside the. Uh, just, just inside the entrance, but I, I'm not sure who the King of Feathers is. I'm sorry. All right, and the snakes are not what they seem. Do you know anything about that? Mm-mm. Did not make sense mm. to me. All right. I think the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Have you heard of the puzzle cubes? Well, yes. Uh, as I said, the uh, my former employers are. After right. the puzzle cubes for, they, they believe they uh, will lead to where the soulmonger is kept. Gotcha. And you guys haven't found any yet in your little group? Uh, our group has not. I'm not sure about those up north. Okay. They were interested in the shrine to the west of here, just on the other side of the wall. And he just points basically... Uh, it's going to put you on that map here, actually. Oops. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, he points back here. Okay. All right, that's like that. Okay. I suggest we go to where maybe the other wizards are so we can figure out Leon make a perception check do we know if the wizards, okay. wizards of mm-hmm. the red wizards are good people or bad people or in they're bad people they're bad people. they're bad people <laughs> they're bad people yeah you still it's just like on the wind you hear faint um, and then it just like fades you're not sure <laughs> Which ah, <laughs> hooked on a feeling. <laughs> uh, guys, I hear some chanting. I can't tell where it's coming from, but oh, no. I don't think it's. Have you been eating the red mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Orvex, have, have you often heard chanting? Only since I've been in this temple. All right. Uh, so we'll see so you take the short rest. Orvex is uh, able to get up. Uh, maybe it's a little early afternoon. Uh, uh, so shall we? I, uh, I seem to be in, in need of a new employer. Uh, my rates are pretty cheap if, if you need that sort of thing. Five gold to today, be let's fair. Uh, yeah. You are in need of bodyguards. Mm hmm. Why don't we call it a wash? What do you charge for bodyguards? More than you charge as an int- as an intellect. Hmm. Very well. Why don't we square up if we get out of this alive? I, I think those terms are agreeable. <laughs> Perhaps if we find things in here, you may be interested in some some of the stuff we find. Yes. Perhaps you'll allow me to publish my findings independently? And he looks at Nimbus. Oh, no, I don't. Well, um, yes, we shall see. We, we shall, shall see. see, yes. <laughs> Very well. And he, he, write, he writes something down in his journal while he's looking at Nimbus. And he tucks it back. Mr. Into Blue. <laughs> yes. He's going to screw over Volo. <laughs> Who cares? I Bolo is not here. He is. Sis Kebab um, speaks out. He's like, hey, hey, Cardle. 
And he goes up to him, kind of leans into his ear. Who is Volo? Oh, yeah, Bob. Um, that's a guy who knows a lot about monsters, and he wrote it all in a book or something, and he's passing them out. And Nimbus really likes him. Oh, I see. This, this book is popular? Um, that's what Nimbus <laughs> says. I see, I see. Volo thinks so. <laughs> it is popular to the people that need the information, and that is it. Yes. And Nimbus kind of goes over to Bob. I can let you look at this book if you'd like. No, no, that, that's okay. Okay. Bob must be like must must like to be surprised. Mm. So yeah. I guess we'll work our way to the Western Temple. Okay. Unless we want to avoid the wizards. Uh, I don't think you said the wizards were there. I think that the, the southern wizards here were interested in going there after here and before the uh, oh, before, then, before then the that's fine. Okay, that's where we're going. And also, if we find yeah. the other wizards, if we're with him, I mean, as long as he's not screwing us over, that might help us with those wizards. I mean, we're probably going to end up a huge fight with them anyways, but might buy us some seconds. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope you're at least eighth level when you do. So. <laughs> yeah, I prefer not to type fight the wizards. Um, okay, so you make your way back to the shrine then? I'm actually surprised that the Yanti were able to kill the three freaking little fed fledging ones. Yeah, yeah, those were just mages too. Um, okay, so this is a giant, giant map. And it's got uh, all of the shrines on it, so I'm going to have to like zoom in and get you guys there, so just bear with me. Loading special effects engine. Please stand by. Oh, Determine scale size. It's taking a while. Loading. Loading. How about a nice game of chess? How about global thermonuclear war? <laughs> uh, well played. Um. Okay. Boom. See what you can see. Oh, look at the crying f face. All right. What is it? The crying face. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's or scared. I love this. Yeah, artist. that doesn't look happy. He's a great cartographer, but I think his his, his statues. Now I don't know if it's just like disconnect between <laughs> you know the, the devs and and him, but anyway. So. Uh, a rectangular pool of murky water stretches before this vine-shaped, vine-draped shrine. Rope bridges that once spanned the water float on the surface, tangled with other debris. The shards of a toppled monolith form stepping stones to the middle of the pool, where a statue of a stone frog rises above the water. So that's supposed to be a frog's face, actually. <laughs> So how much the, you want to put there's a frog hemoth in there. The uh the edges are super sheer, steep, and uh you could jump from here to here to get to the frog face if you really wanted to. And up above is what appears to be a shrine. Um can I Hmm. Well, from where I am, if I did an investigation on the stone frog thing, would I be able to tell anything more? Well, I guess I'd have to roll. Yeah, make, uh, make a perception check and I'll... Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think as you look at it, perhaps the, the clouds part just briefly enough for a glint of sun to shine down cover the area briefly before the clouds roll back around. And when it does, you see a glint off of the tongue of the frog as if it shined on something shiny metal, maybe something, something's in that, that frog's mouth. I think something's in there. Something glimmered. Mr. Tabaxu. Yes. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you remember what happened last time we tried to touch something shiny on a statue? <laughs> I didn't go in, so I do not. 
I mean, it came uh, to life and tried to kill us. Oh, that, yes. into the river. Yeah, that. You mean when I knocked it 30 feet into <laughs> a river? That's exactly what I mean, yes. Right mm. before that. All right. Well. <laughs> Just as long as you saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what does everybody that. think? Does everyone want to go towards the shrine or... Can anyone see what it is? Do we still have the spyglass or do we give that to what's her face? We sold that. We gave yeah, it to yeah. them. Gave it to the yeah. Medusa. I mean, um, the, uh, the lady. <laughs> well, that would really come in handy right now. All right. Um, oh, wait, does um, anybody have a magic? Uh, Mr. Snob, do you have like a magical hand or something? <laughs> magical hand. <laughs> He's it got could magic be hands. My hands are magical, yes. But Hickety would that, have like, given his goggles of night to Baloo before setting out because he was only going to travel there on day. Okay, fair enough. If he was heading towards the temple or caves or something, he'll be, but he would have been like, I'm going to come back for them, you home, okay? All right. All right, so what does everyone want to do? So Baloo, I'm giving you night vision. I'll go over and look at it. I'll yell back what it is, but... I got an uneasy feeling. Oh, sorry, mixing characters. <laughs> I don't oh feel very. I feel kind of uneasy with this this pool. Uh, I take a rock off the ground, medium, you know, about maybe six to eight inches across, and toss it into the water. Don't Ooh. disturb the water. <laughs> All right. So, um. You I'm see gonna a do a frog pers- jump off a lily pad and blunk into the water. Well, did any is anybody done a perception on the yeah on the water? Well, that's why I threw the rock to see if anything. Yeah, but it. that's not a perception check. Oh. Ooh. Well, I was waiting for the GM to tell me to roll a perception test. Mm. Uh, so who rolled perception? She's go up. No, I mean you guys. You throw a rock in and uh, blunk. Okay, like now I throw see. the next best thing is Nimbus. No, <laughs> sir. I grab him, grab him with my trunk, and I dangle him out over the water by his foot. Maybe there's a big crocodile in there. <laughs> That's mean. Mostly amusing. <laughs> All right. Well, what does everyone say? Do we want to risk going in this water for something that? Did it look like deep? I mean, did, how did the rock go plump? Um, you didn't hear it hit bottom, so it's, I mean, it's hard to tell. It, it didn't, uh, yeah, like I said, you didn't hear, hear so it's, it hit bottom, so it's it's deeper okay. than whatever that would take. A few Is feet, there at least. a branch off a tree nearby or something like that we can poke into the water? I um, grab I grab Nimbus's sure. staff. Hey! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what, you don't want me to use you? Well, I'm going to use your staff. Is that all right? You have a giant hammer. And rope. I can't. It's not long. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Ooh. Well, then go uh, see how deep the water is. Can I cast dancing lights and, and like put them underwater and see if we can see underwater with the dancing lights? You said it was Light it up down there? I don't know, can you? Yeah. Uh, put it up, put oh, the spell up in the chat. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, you put them up in the chat. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I got that. You have to, does it have to be a... Let's see. Target, target. target. Are we doing that because it's dark? Because the water's murky, I want to just want to see if I put the lights under there. Maybe, maybe something will either jump out or see We're something. Going fishing. Something. I've read that as one of the uses for it. So on four lights and going on whichever four. Okay, yeah, you can. Cool. All right. Then yeah, I'll do that. All right. Where do you want to put them? Or, or one or more? Or... Um. Four points within range. I can make up to four. I'll make four and I'll just move them around. You know, I'll start with quadrants like. This corner, and then the top corners, um, and yeah, I'll just keep them as close as they need to be, so it lights up the biggest area that I can. Okay. So beneath the water, there are it's just green muck everywhere as far as you can see. Make a perception check uh, with advantage. Perception. Okay. Two six. Yeah, so you see, like, it, the water is deep and murky, 
and you see at the very bottom, it looks like, you know, the, the water's kind of moving around, but you see something move. You think perhaps, and there's something that sort of shifts in the bottom. I reach into the bag of holding and grab a piece of uh, a big hunk of scorpion meat and throw it into the water, like right somewhere over there. Okay. Yeah. Back like a feather almost. All the way to the bottom. 26 to hit the spot I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, you hit it, no problem. And just... Just wait and see if anyone if anything ate it. Mm -mm. And uh, you see um, Tabaxel. Yeah. Uh, the, the shape just kind of like shift a little bit and then sort of settle back down and not move again. And it's hard to tell huh. whether it's it's uh, the water shimmering. Yeah. Because uh, you look at it, it's, it's the wind sort of blowing and everything's green. It's very deep. Do you think that froggy thing is in here? You said the water's pretty deep, so I mean... And there is a frog thing right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Signs point to yes, so... <laughs> uh, so do we care, or do we want to move on? <sighs> okay, I can make this I, look like a humanoid and walk it around on these stones. Make what look like a humanoid? The four lights. Oh. I'll do that. Vaguely humanoid. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably because it's glowing and meh. All right. So, yeah, I'll make a little puppet man and dance him around up there or something. Where do you put it? Uh, right here. Okay. When you do that, it's and and it begins to dance around. The water explodes, and this huge beast leaps out. <laughs> and tries to take a swipe. Called it. <laughs> tries to take a swipe. And one of the tentacles flies right through the um, the illusion. Holy and, uh, shit. I like that. Off. Damn you, Mr. Tabaxi. I told you not to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so. And it's, uh, it, it like tries to grab it like a couple of times. It's like, what the fuck? And uh, it turns and it sees all of you there. And. Now we roll initiative. <laughs> Nimbus just waves. <laughs> Hello. Do you know him? I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> oh, oh, you're nice to him, I see. And Orvex jumps into a bush. <laughs> yes. If you're 10 feet tall and have eight eyes and look like that. So it's, it's vulnerable. It's vulnerable to lightning. And sarcasm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's vulnerable to lightning. And then what else was it? Uh, I think that's all that you gleaned from. Yeah, that's all we got was. from that. Yeah, it, it doesn't oh. give you like hit point. You know, it's like, you know. Right. I hope those are halflings in its tentacles. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything else that might. Does anyone, Mr. Snob, do you fire lightning? No. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I remember someone hitting a, uh, a shambling mound or something with lightning. That's right? true. Was that this game? I yes. could have sworn. That was before. Yeah, that was the other game. Uh, no, it was this No, game. it was this one. Yeah, who See, had lightning? These people remember it? Hmm. <laughs> someone had something. Someone had shocking grasp or lightning or something. Someone cast a light. It wasn't a lightning bolt. Was it a lightning bolt? No. Nope. I think it was a lightning just... bolt. No. Uh, I don't know. It was back in the other temple there when we were fighting the plants. Yeah, I mean, it was a while ago. A few levels ago. Oh, you changed them? Talking to me. All right. No. This is um, not talking to the stern. Okay. No. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. all right. So to back yes, to I am a hero with my zero initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, so, to back, so you get the jump. Uh, you, you see him, and uh, he swipes at your guy, and you're like, I thought he was there. What do you do? Uh, stupid dumb animal. 
is he looking at us or just still looking at the thing? Yeah, he's like, Ugh. and he's just like drooling. He turns and looks at you, and now that he knows, he can, ah, there's shit. nothing there. Stupid as shit, but he just, you know, he realizes nothing real there. Uh, should we should just have try to retreat? The, the bodies. Uh, I'll hit him with a short bow. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit him with a short bow. I hope yeah. 19 hits. That's All a right. hit. Wee, seven. Okay. Oh, sure. Piss it off. Yeah. You know, whoops. That's the wrong one. There we go. All right. Seven damage. Okay. I'm sure he's crippled now. <laughs> you kill it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, I should have poisoned That was it. a disappointment. Oh, that's right. You have tons of poison. Yeah. Like three bottles of it. It's an action to apply. Yeah. Uh, can I use my move action to apply some poison? No. Do something No, nah, that'd be super OP. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Uh that's it, Snorn. Uh yeah, I'll take another just one more step back here. Alright. <sighs> that's what Snorn does on it. Cast slow. Must make a wisdom save. Is he wise? This ancient creature. The answer is yes. That was it for me. You can move still. You know. Leon? True. Yeah, I'll move. You hear Orvex in the bush over here. Is it dead yet? Shh. Quiet. Good, good idea. We're pacing ourselves. <laughs> hey, my turn. Okay, um, bonus action, um, Hunter's Mark. Gotcha, he has marked. I'm going to be swallowed whole. I can just feel it. Yes. I can't wait. Um, <laughs> all right, so 12, yep. They all hit. He's got an AC. Just, just the first Colossus that it lagged. Right. So 12. Uh, you do the math for me. Tell me what you got. Eight. Okay. 25, 27. Got it. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Nice shooting. And uh, he's got a huge body. He's hard to miss. But he's angry at you. Yeah, he has cool. a lot of hit points. Bob. Bob uh, kind of have a reflex of being scared. He's going to take a step forward, cast poison spray, and then take a step back. It's kind of his um, racial ability. Did okay. he just... Yep. You... <laughs> so he opens his mouth and... <laughs> and then cowers uh, and kind of scoots back in fear. Okay. Yeah, like a spitting cover or something. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. He makes the and that's a cantrip though, right? Yes. Okay. No damage. Uh the frog chemoth. I think the new guy soiled himself. <laughs> I think everyone moved back but you and me, Mr. Miller. I think we're about to be screwed. <laughs> we want to probably put them pull them out of the water. Boop. Boop. Uh, boop. All right. So I think this is going to be uh, Nimbus and Tabaxel, actually. Uh -huh. Works for me. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my. So Nimbus, 26 hits for 25 bludgeoning. Okay. And you are... Fucking tobacco. Uh, You're grappled. Tobacco just got fucking critted. Um, it's light grappled. And, uh, ooh, it's a baxel. Yeah, he's a rogue. 31. Yeah, uncanny dodge. Okay. So, 15. Um, and you also are grappled. Then. Damn it. I gotta move you up just to I can't get your grapple. I'll call that grapple. I don't know. And then we 
frog humith can huh. use its tongue or bite. So it will actually move forward. Man, internet is going crazy slow. And um, it can't actually pull you with its tentacles, like mechanically. So he'll just move forward and with his movement and try to bite you. Twenty eight. That's a lot of words. Oh man. Thirty three points of damage. And, and you're, you're swallowed whole. Is whole. that to me? That's to you. Okay, so all right. I have one hit point. Sweet. So oh he, shit. Yeah, the, the, this guy's fucking for real. So he takes you gunk and swallows you. <laughs> Isn't that the second time we got swallowed? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, didn't didn't Leon get swallowed? No. Oh, what did that guy the alli the alligator just then Leon swallowed him. I thought somebody That's... got swallowed by the giant crocodile. It's everybody's but... job to get Leon swallowed. Leon got <laughs> bit by the giant crocodile. I don't think he was swallowed. I don't. I was not swallowed. I think we're okay now. It might be full. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nimbus is unfortunately he might spit them out. I'm sure. Right, Swallow creatures blind and blind. So now you're blinded and restrained. Yep. Yikes! So and you probably restrained. take acid damage every turn. You do. It takes ten or three d six acid damage at the start of each of the frog hemoths turn. Ooh, that's like when you're death saving. Yeah, that's Roman Skelly can hold up to two. Let's succeed on DC twenty con save. Oh, it takes 20 from the inside. Okay, gotcha. Um, and it's your go, Nimbus. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so what can I use to... Un what do I roll to get unrestrained? So restrained just means um, you, you, can't, you can't move. Your speed is zero. You have disadvantage on deck saves and attacks. And attackers have advantage against you. So you just have disadvantage on attacks, I guess, from your perspective. If you do 20 damage to it, uh, it'll spit you out. It may spit you out. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So I am going to... Um, first, I'm going to use an action to... Um, I gain the ability to heal myself as an action with the wholeness of body, uh, where I get hit points equal to three times my monk level. So um, okay. I'm level 21. seven, so I automatically heal myself for 21. Okay. Is that a bonus section, or is that just a... That's an action. Point? It's an action, okay. Um, and it's not even a key point. Cool. Um, all right, so then for my bonus action, I will um, use Fury of Blows. And with disadvantage, try to attack him on the inside? Or do I even have that ability? Yeah, you can attack just with disadvantage. It's like, okay. I thought you couldn't attack when you're restrained. You can. Restrain is speed <sighs> to zero, disadvantage on deck saves and attacks. Okay. Attackers have advantage. Miss and miss. Sweet. All right. Blue. Blue. It changes a lot. <laughs> yeah, it does. Don't know what to do now. All right, so let's. Damn it. Damn it! Why don't I have any big monster killing shit? All right, so I am going to do this, and I get five times my cleric level, so I have thirty-five points. 
Uh, what's your maximum hit points there? Um, Nimbus? Uh, 59. So I can give you up to basically 29. So take 29 hit points back. Okay. And then I give six to Tabaxel. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Cleric wants to smash, but he has to heal. Well, I'm gonna mm -hmm. as a bonus action, I'm gonna class spiritual weapon. All right. Which is the fist? Yes, it's That's the a gauntlet. 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 <laughs> and uh <laughs> <It's a> yes. <laughs> I rolled a sixteen to hit. Okay. Are you hit? And he takes seven points of force damage. Okay. Excellent. Uh, to Maxwell. Did I skip some? Well, I feel like they get us in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was my fault. I think it was both of our fault. Learn right. to dodge. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nimbus, no! Get out dodge. of there! The thing is, you got to get in the shrine and you're just fucked either way. That's the problem. Uh, let me. Uh... Does Nimbus count as an ally within five feet? Not if he's inside. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot him again. Or not? I mean, you miss. I'm restrained too, right? Or grappled? No, just grappled. Just grappled. You can't just grappled. Yeah. Yeah. And I attacked, so I can't try to escape the grapple. Or can I? That's a move, right? Uh, no, it's an action, I believe. Okay. All right. Never mind then. Yeah. I'm done. Uh, Snarn. I'm going to swallow next turn. Sam, what is the Company. what is the aura on? <laughs> oh, it's the Paladin's aura of protection. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's just increased Should I be saves. in it? I miss the old aura. So right now, Nimbus is completely engulfed inside. We can't see him at all. Yeah. So the he didn't pull the tentacle to him because mechanically it doesn't allow for that, but whatever. So he just moved and just like he, he reached his mouth over and glunk, swallowed him whole. He can't be targeted. Uh, however, areas of effect will damage him. Really? That's kind of yeah. weird. I know it is, but it's it is it is what it is. If you target the creature, um he'll be hit, but areas of effect damage, like a fireball or something like that, will damage him. Mm -hmm. Maybe he gets advantage on the saving throw? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I'll just firebolt him for now. Okay. You hit? Polymorph the monster. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, but that just makes it into something. Uh, yeah, like a, a lizard. Fish. And then, yeah, it, what would happen if I'm but inside? he's still inside? Well, yeah, yeah but, but wouldn't Nimbus I, doesn't turn. Do would I turn or would it rip him? Would I, you know what I mean? If you polymorph him into a squirrel, what happens to me? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be good for the um, squirrel or for me. <laughs> <laughs> for both. Yeah, I don't think that transformation would be beneficial to either. Um, so the fire, like it singes him and, but like, he's just like mucusy and wet. It just kind of goes out. doesn't do, does about as half as much damage as you think it should. Awesome. Yep. That's it from Leon. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out a nice glowing green arrow and look, um, on the body and, Look for a place that doesn't look like it has a goblin imprint from the inside. <laughs> okay. And uh, take a couple shots. Nice. Nice. Those hunter's marks never roll high. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move back. 15, over. 19, 23. And 
<laughs> All right. Yeah. And so Nimbus inside, you see arrows <laughs> <laughs> like about your head. Use the points. <laughs> Siska Bob. So you guys really care about that little goblin? <laughs> yes. He is our friend and our ally. <laughs> He is the slayer of dinosaurs. He will... Um... And stone creatures! <laughs> he will... proceed to walk cautiously up to the edge and crack his whip twice at this creature. Oh, shit. Okay. 16 with a... 2 smack. Look at look at this character starting with a it, plus one weapon. That's not an undead or fiend, so it's only four, seven, three. Minus a six, so fourteen. Yeah, he gave up some stuff. Uh, I know, he's playing. I'll take it. He's he's an ally. Give him whatever <laughs> hell he wants. <laughs> so it's nineteen. Five slashing and fourteen radiant. Radiant, okay. So he takes all of that, so nineteen. Nice. And second whip attack, 26. I guess that hits. Yeah, I'm at a level 2, so here's a level 1. Ugh. <laughs> Nine. Well, five slashing and four radiant. Nine. Okay. Gotcha. All and right. he will take a step back. Which I don't remember how much I moved. Why can't why can't it let you show what you just traveled? I missed that. You used to could, couldn't you? Yeah, you could hit like spacebar and after you move hit spacebar again, it shows up, but you can't do that with Q anymore. That's things. Control um, M, control Q. I oh, don't know. All right. And oh so, so he will take an attack of opportunity against you. Okay. He will try to bite you. 23 would have hit, but he cast shield as he backs away. Oh, yeah. Dying crunch. Man. He misses. And the, the monster looks at you like, I felt him inside my stomach. Why is he not there? <laughs> um, now it's his go. All right, let's roll some damage for Nimbus. Not bad. Five. Good. I'll take it. All right. So you don't have a choice. <laughs> Valid point. He's going to try to get in my belly. <laughs> yeah. He's going to, with the tentacles, try to get blue and Bob. How many tentacles does he have? Four. All of them? <laughs> Four. First one is... Blue. Jesus Christ! Yeah, plus what ten. What is his attack modifier? Shit. Plus ten. He still rolled a 19 and an 18 with plus ten. So you each take 20 damage, and you're both restrained. That's restrained because I don't have a better... Do you bet you can make custom ones of these token... Yeah. Modifiers or whatever. And we're going to call D Day new <laughs> character night as well. <laughs> ah, it's not going to be that bad. We'll kill it. He will. Oh, come on, computer. Move to here and try to bite Baloo. No. Uh oh. He critted me. Nice. Whoa. Calculator for that. Uh, thirty-five plus twenty-two. Fifty-seven. Is Fifty-seven. I am negative ten. Shit! Holy was, fuck! Was one of those tentacles on Chiska Bob? Mm, yes. Okay. And you're restrained and unconscious. And swallowed. And swallowed. Holy crap! Nimbus. Well, if he didn't fucking crit me, it would have been fine, but... Shit. Um, Alright, so I'm restrained? Wait, wait. I'm right next to you. Put a potion in my mouth. 
<laughs> oh, actually. You could. You could do that. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you hear blah, and just like huge burp and Baloo just like blah, like falls down beside you. And you feel his trunk smack you upside the head. And I I look and see how he's uh, uh I made your room. <laughs> you light <laughs> a big lighter. Yeah. Oh, is that blue? <laughs> and I take um a potion of healing and uh, yeah, healing potion. Uh what's healing potion? Is it uh two D two D four plus two, a regular one? Right. Yeah. All right. All right, you're up. I'm up. And then for I'm going to use spend uh, a key point for um, Fury of Blows. <laughs> And we'll see how this works from the inside again. Yeah. And uh, and I'm still working with disadvantage, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I was pretty sure that didn't change, but I thought I'd ask. And you miss. And you hit. Yay! Okay. Whittling him down. He is a <laughs> tough fucker, though. Blue. All right, uh, and that's it. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, okay. Blue. You don't feel uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to uh, cast Cure Wounds on myself. And get back 25 hit points. So I'm to 31. Okay. And Nimbus gives you a thumbs up as you cast on yourself. <laughs> no. Let's see here. <laughs> trying to think if I have anything else I can do. Nope. I'm good. With your weapon? Is your sp oh no, you never mind. I was gonna say your spiritual weapon, but you yeah, got knocked out. So. It, that went out as soon as I went unconscious. Yeah. Uh, Tabaxel. Okay. Uh, Bob move, and I are both grabbed by tentacles, right? Yes. And he's so like holding you at bay or... while he's like trying to digest Nimbus and Blue. Okay. So does Bob count as a ally within five feet of him? Of you? Of the of the Brogheman. No. It's got to be okay. within five feet of the himself. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, I guess I'll try to stab him with the. We'll go vicious scimitar, I guess. You can't target. I know it's it's strange, but you can't target just the tentacle. You have to. Okay. Yeah. It's got. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Like, narratively, he's got you like wrapped behind. You can't. I got you. Alrighty. Yay. All right, you hit. Oh, wait, no, you missed. Sorry, with disadvantage. No, no, oh, it's not right. disadvantage. No, no, restrained. Not, you're not restrained. All right, not restrained, just grab him. Okay, yeah, you hit. Good damage. Cool. Yeah. He's um, in uh, double digits now. Cool. Cool. Uh, okay, that's all I got. He is bloodied. Um, Snarn. Do something. <laughs> well, just these two cool. aren't really in melee range at all. They're held at bay. Yeah, these two, these two guys here. Yeah, he's got them like, kind of like held out. And uh, he's wheeling his other two uh, tentacles towards you guys. Orbex says, don't, don't let him get me. Anybody want to be an ape? I think any of us would be willing to be an ape right now. Uh, pass. 
Okay, I'll make you an ape tobacco. Bitchin'. <clears throat> yeah. We'll jump on it, open its throat, and reach in and get us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boop. <gasps> I don't know where to put you in, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not. Maybe you guys will just a little bit just to. It's clobbering time. Go get them. <laughs> uh, let me see about how the grasp works. Huge or smaller? Are you huge or smaller? You are huge. huge. Yeah. All right. So he still got you. But he can't yeah. swallow you. So. Right. He tried. Yeah, you That's bad. I've been an eight before, but I need the... Oh, Actually, sorry, he's here. full. You can only like, swallow two creatures. Oh, okay. So he's got you uh, probably right there. So you're still 15 feet away from him, as is Bob. Yeah. Actually. Oh, I got a big lag. Gosh. All right. Pull him out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Leon. Okay. I'm going to... Uh... Mimic Nimbus's voice and shout at the creature. Next time, send a guiding bolt out his asshole. <laughs> and then I fire two shots. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> uh, so the first one. I is... feel funny. So five, 17. eleven, seventeen. No, yeah, yeah. Nimbus somewhat hears something and looks at Baloo and points at himself and then outside. Like, <laughs> my, my I shrug. <laughs> Who's copying me? Um, very well. Siskabob. Siskabob. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see how far this um, nature's wrath goes. Ten feet. Okay. So you can try to escape the tentacle. Is your whip made of snakeskin? TC sixteen. Um, it's an action to try and escape, right? Yes. He will cast Toll of the Dead. Toll of the Dead. And he's already been wounded, so fourteen wisdom. Oh. Huge cathedral bells. Oh, he makes the. Oh. And it's a cantrip, so no damage. Yep. If the target is missing any hit points, it instead takes 10 necrotic damage. Mm -hmm. So it does it take. It does it's it not take the first 10? If it isn't damaged, and it's 2d12 if it is damaged. Oh, no. Weird. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. So those are rolled numbers. Yeah, it doesn't highlight in this sheet form. That's my turn. That was the action and can't move. So. Okay. Yeah, you can do like um, the inline roll. Like inside the description, like that. There's no roll. Oh, <laughs> it, never mind. You do like, <laughs> like bracket, bracket. Then the 2D12 or whatever, then bracket, bracket, like inside the um, description, and it'll roll it. Yeah. You. Yeah, but it doesn't highlight when you do it that way. Mm -mm. You just mold. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, okay. So 3D6 damage. This one is for blue. Ten acid damage. Nimbus. Oh my. 15 acid damage. That's okay. That's okay. And the frog hemoth will. Let's see. Can he move? Hmm. 
Why are there so many? Yeah, he's huge too, so. All right, so. Is that gonna move everybody? All right, so he's gonna move. You here, and you here, and there. awful lack, and he will Let's see going for your snarn. He's going for all y'all. He's got range for all of y'all. So first one's Leon, second one's Snarm. Leon, 20 seconds. Take 20 bludgeoning. Okay. Snarn, he misses you. Yeah, 13, I guess. Uh, instead, he will use his tongue. Oh, jeez. Back. <laughs> Sorry. About that. Uh, so make a strength save, please. Yeah. I... You might crit. <laughs> Don't it's say the only that. Way, it, it's the only way to make it. <laughs> yeah, you got minus two. You got it, bud. You got this. Ah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the only thing that does really is put you there. Well, and gives him a bonus bite action. Uh, if that were not part of the multi attack, mm. yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's a very complicated creature, uh, and that's it, Nimbus. All right, um, for my action, I am going to use my staff of striking course with disadvantage <laughs> sorry <gasps> okay <Yes>. that hits <laughs> okay and i want to use um three of the charges for force damage okay. which is 1d6 each uh, you just need eight you just need eight yes eight <laughs> <laughs> He has to make a saving throw. So he has to make a save. It was uh, 20, I think, though. So it was super high, right? I'm yeah. not in initiative order anymore. Must succeed on the DC 20 con save or barf or, or barf us all up. At the end of that turn. So it must be that turn. must mean your turn. Okay. So I still have actions, right? Yes. I can still use my bonus action? Mm hmm Well, let's see if he picks it up. Oh, no. In a, at the end of your turn. So, yeah. Yeah, so, all right, I'm going to spend a key point and uh, use Fury of Blows again. But wait, don't you have a second attack with your staff? Oh, I do. Good call. All right. 17? 17 hits. Yep. Yeah. And then I get one more martial arts at disadvantage. 11 misses. All right. So. All right. Come on, con save. 36. <laughs> he fails. Yeah. Barf us up, baby. <laughs> uh, let's see where it puts you. Where does it say? Oh, my God. Uh, within 10 feet. Let's put you so 10 feet. So that's five, ten feet. Yeah. So you guys are just like smashed up against the edge of this thing. It's slippery, and you can barely even like poltergeist in the pool cl trying to climb up. Uh, Blue, you just got horked up. Good job, Nimbus. Uh, Mr. Blue, what are you talking about? I need to go away. Uh, <laughs> Nimbus is just shaking. <laughs> yeah. I am going to. Uh, 
Here's a question for you. Shoot. Are the creatures he's grappled considered attached to him? Uh, for what purpose? I'm going to try and banish him. Hmm. That's a good question. I'll give you the spell. Hold on. I got the player sign up right here. Banish it says one creature, so they can't go creature. with him. Doesn't say anything Man, about attached to creatures, time. so yeah, it's legit. Okay, so I'm gonna try. So saving throw, which is Christmas saving throw. I bet you doesn't very good at DC 15. The <laughs> guy's a beauty, so it's so pretty. Oh, yes. blink. Pop! Oops. Get me the fuck out of this pool. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see him anymore. Yeah, he's not gone just, forever. He'll geez. be back in a minute, just enough to recover. And then we cool. can kill it. I pick up this big rock next to me. Yeah, when you pick yeah. up the rock, out of the corner of your eye, you see uh, the glint on the tongue of the uh, frog again. Ooh. <laughs> that thing... I don't want to go near it again. As soon as the frog hemoth is gone, I'll go greet it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go in there? Not I mean, right we got a minute. You're I tell everybody, we got a minute. You're still an ape. <laughs> yeah, I'm still an ape. Yeah, go get it. Also, I'm not on initiative, and I can't see anyone but me or the ape. Yeah, it's your turn now. Screen. Sorry. Yeah, I, I put your character. It's your turn, though. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Can uh, yeah, I just can we still stay in initiative because we got literally ten rounds before that thing comes back? Yes, because <laughs> I want to hear people. Well, does it make a savings throw each round? No, but you can end it earlier. True, 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 true. There we go. I'm gonna hit the restroom. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. Me too. Super quick, real quick. All right, I'm gonna get a drink then. I can make another one if you into an ape. If you, oh no, I can't. No, you have a concentration spell. Yeah. Can you cast by more fire and affect more people? No, I can't. Yeah, I that's can. as high it is right now. Yeah, that's a. What if you banished it to a place that has healing potions and it's drinking them right now? No, it's, <laughs> it's a. It's just a random plane. I'm hoping it's a fire. It's a. It's the electricity plane. He comes back with Strahd. Dun, dun, dun. It's to, to the target to a harmless demi plane, and it's incapacitated. So I I suggest we back up at least twenty feet away from the edge of the pit before it comes back. So it can't reach us, or have to at least come out of the pool to do it. Right, and then I think we just have Starn just fireball. Well, one of the things I'm going to do is cast protection uh, of, from poison on you and me, because mm -hmm. we're me and you can get swallowed again. Yeah, and if and if, and if, if we get swallowed again, it it will it will 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 only take half damage from poison on the inside. So, well, so Axel just poison. said. I th yeah, didn't it? It didn't. Uh, the fire didn't seem to bother it. That too. All right. So the the beast is gone. Let me. Hold on. Let me let me add something in the turn. Oh man, my computer's lagging. My garbage so can is full. Damn it. Is it a giant you purple ape? Elephant creature. Come here. <laughs> ape. Yes, Bob. <laughs> Give you 10 <laughs> hit points back. Oh, thanks. You're the best. Uh, Mr. Baloo, we, uh, Baloo, we almost died together. I think we're, wait, we're still going in, in uh, initiative. So. Oh, okay. So that I can cast spells and we can count 10 rounds. So I'll hold off on that. Okay. Well, no, I'll take it. Fuck it. I'll, I'll, 
I'll take my 31. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're still doing rounds, so... Um... It was actually Tabaxel's go. So... You can do that for your next round. So, Tabaxel, what do you want to do? Again, so... you He... Pops out of existence. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what you think, but t to the right, you see the glint uh, that you first saw. Something shiny. Yeah. Uh, How long does Polymorph last? An hour. Okay, yeah. we got plenty of time. Uh, I don't want the glint, I want the frog hemoth. Yeah. Nimbus is going to hide in the bushes. Yeah. It's I'll not Nimbus' turn yet. Sorry. So you got like six seconds around, so or per yeah, turn. I'll so. just, yeah, I'll just. You can move over to the statue and move over to the statue and grab whatever the shiny thing is. As a giant ape, he'll probably swallow it. So. The <laughs> <laughs> tabax will have to poop it out. <laughs> well, you're still in control. Yeah, you still do stuff. It just you right. just aren't as like... smart as you used to be. Mm. I'll reach in and grab whatever it is. In actuality, sure? you probably want it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, not his hand. Shiny. Intelligence. All right. Seven. Uh, intelligence is seven. Yeah, that's that's just slightly yeah, right. below average. It's like snoring. My boss has a seven intelligence at work. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> then how do you become a boss? <laughs> you know, I think it was pity. BJ's. I read at a seventh grade level at a, on a good day. Second, actually. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. So you look I, down. Uh, you look down, and you try to grab. It's like uh, you're, you ever play the game Operation. It's like, oh yeah. Uh, well, I play Alien Autopsy though. Yeah, there you go. So it's there's a key, like embedded into the uh, the tongue, and uh, your big monkey fingers just can't grab it. Oh, uh, smash it. And you, you, <laughs> you get angry and you're like, Grr! yeah. Hmm. Uh, actually, right. make a uh, make a dex check, but with disadvantage. Is that how that works? Are you fifteen? Yeah. That's fucking not bad. You actually uh, you're able to flick it out of its recess and it lands like right on the ledge there, and you're able to pick it up. It's like you've got it between two like monkey giant ape fingernails. Okay. Swallow it for safekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> you really Shut up. It. Stick right, it in so... your butt. What's my movement? Still 30? Uh, oh, speed 40. Okay, so I can get back onto land. Yeah, you could leap from... Mm. Yeah. Easy. Uh, who should I give this key to? Tabaxel. I'll give it to Tabaxel. He's over here. Just drop it on the ground. Actually, you are Tabaxel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just hold on to it till my next turn. Yeah, you just sit down, uh, crisscross applesauce. And yeah, like, oh, playing with the key. Shiny key. <laughs> hold it up, look at it. Oh, give us the key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine. <laughs> uh, Snarn. I'm just going to move away somewhere. Yeah, we're all going to move at least 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Should we just take off the turn order and... Well, I mean, I, I like I said, I, I, the monster's going to come back, and I assume we're going to try and kill it, unless we're just going to run from it. For him. Yeah, but it would be tedious to do this 60 times, you know what I mean? Plus, I'm a giant ape. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah so I, I'm just going to, well, I can just, people that are actually going to do something like me, I'm going to heal. Okay, so why don't we just do that? You guys want to go ahead and just do the heal? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just let me fight it. No one, no one else needs to get involved. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone else just give us one round each. You don't have to give us six rounds each. All right. So we'll just uh, we'll keep the turn order. So everybody gets back twelve. We'll do start. We'll start with Snarn. And I know. Um, and he blinks back in. Shish kebab gave me ten. So that's 22 back. So I'm at 43. Now when Tabax will be first. Uh, he I'm just at the went bottom already. The went. Key. 
I grab the key. Yeah. Well, I said anybody that wants to do something. I mean. But I mean, he's up. only he's always going to blink in after Blues. Yes. Okay. So, and like then it. I'm still low, and people are still low. So I'm going to gather around the people that are hurt, and I'm going to do one more of my mm -hmm. uh, channel divinities. So this is my second round. So I have 35, oh, 35. points. I'm going to give me 15, which will put me up to uh, 58. I will give 15 to Nimbus. Thank you. And that will leave me with five, and I'll give that to Leon. And then I'm going to cast Protection from Poison on me. And Protection from Poison on Nimbus. So... Well, I wanted to use my turn that I was skipped to hold an action. So, yeah, I'm going to say, okay, I'm all done. And if anyone did anything, that was just <laughs> all the healing I needed to do. And then we have protection from poison on us in case we get swallowed again. Because we're going to be in front of everybody else. Versus not the, the monkey is going to be first. And then we're going to be, me and Nimbus are going to be behind the monkey. Yeah, so it'll just go to Baxel, Snar, and Leon. There you go. And so, but I'm done. I did everything I want. I did that in th everything in four rounds. Cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, pops, pops back in. Well, no, I think uh, Snarn wanted to do something. It was Leon. That was Leon. Oh, Leon. Well, Leon. Uh, well, on my turn, I was just gonna hold an action to. Launch an arrow at it as soon as he popped in. Yeah, I assume everyone's going to hold yeah, an action with a ranged weapon. No, and fire but you don't out. know what's going on. I mean, it's like he's gone for a minute. You don't know exactly what's going to pop. All in. right, everybody's all right. running around here. Well, no, I'm I'm purposely bringing him. So back. we're going to stay in the turn order so that. Okay. Can you bring him back? I can. Uh. Spell in. The target of the reinsert. Well, it, it's the concentration spell. Yeah, I can choose to stop concentrating on. All right. I mean, if you want, I can roll like a wisdom saving throw or something like that to see if I time it right. So technically, though, it would just be out of battle, and then we would just re-roll initiative. So let's just keep it how it is. Tobacco will be sure. first, and just to just make it easy. Um, yep. He, he's pretty low on HP, so we'll just. Um, okay. So pops back into existence. Boom! There he is. Get him, boy. Ooh. Monkey boy. I'm going to hang on to this pillar and wail on him. Hang on with one of my feet. Okay. It's really a moot point because everyone would have to go in some sort of order with their saved move anyway, right? True. Yeah. And I'll toss the key down over here somewhere. Okay. okay. Let's fist him. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> oh, I've got the key, everyone. Don't you get two attacks with that? Yeah, yeah. Or and then the, the monster key. reaches down and eats them. 39 <laughs> damage to that one. You kill him. <laughs> oh, that's as easy. <laughs> like squish, squish, squish. Blech. All this. Man, we should have thought of this polymorph shit a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have been using it. Even when Snar wasn't here. Yeah. That's it. You killed him. He's our polymorph bot. No, I meant I meant for this fight. Yeah. That was a CR ten monster. That's good stuff. That was a scary fight, y'all. Yeah. yeah it was. Originally, I was gonna cast it on Nimbus, but he disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Literally. It would have been great if you could do it in to like anybody within range, and yeah. he's inside the belly, and he just. Poof! He's a huge. He would have just came right out. <laughs> do you have to see the person? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah. 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 Well, I, you I see. thought we were screwed yeah. when Baloo got got eaten. I thought we were all done. Me too. Me too. Because I totally forgot about the polymorph. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you hadn't yeah. uh, suggest heal me, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. a smart move. Yes. Because I was like, oh, God, I forgot about that. 
Yeah, because I would have had to make two death saving throws. The next turn I took poison damage. Mm -hmm. It would have been awful. That would not have been good. Well, I was hoping to kill you with that guy, but I suppose you survived. <laughs> That's right. Uh, All right. Cool. Only we one a new key. character. Only got a key. Yeah. So I thought we would maybe even get through the shrine, but uh, it's already 9 o'clock, and I think Sam's got yeah. homework to do. Yeah, I'm going to be up all night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll uh, we'll stop it here. So um, I think after, eventually uh, <laughs> the giant monkey turns it turns back into uh, to Baxel and uh, he's still uh, looking at the key much like he did when he was a giant ape. <laughs> cool. Yeah, walk over to then. walk over to what's his face and yank it out of his hand. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was right? just holding it for you. Yeah. Here, take it then. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to stop the vid here. Uh -huh.